Hi friends today i am going to tell you some of the best camera tips in the dslr among that first one rules of thirds grid as you can observe in the above figure there are two horizontal lines and two vertical lines the place where both horizontal and vertical lines meet these are called as intersection points in order to get a great photo with the best composition you need to place the main subject at those intersection points as you can observe in the above figure the main subject is placed at the intersection points of horizontal and vertical lines so by placing the main subject at the horizontal and vertical lines you will get the great photos with better contrast and having better dynamic range and the second one avoid the camera shake if you are going to record any video or photos then you need to place on the tripod because this tripod will avoid any uneven shakes in your hands if you take any photos with your bare hand then it leads to formation of blurry and unsteady images so i suggest you to use any tripod for recording videos or taking any photographs and the third one usage of exposure triangle this exposure triangle mainly depends on iso shutter speed and aperture in that i will tell you about iso if you keep the iso value at the minimum then it will record the videos or any photographs more darkly if you keep the iso value at the maximum then it takes the photos or record videos more brightly but sadly it involves some of the noise so i suggest you to keep the iso value minimum during morning time and maximum during the night time so that you will get the better photos and the second one is aperture if you keep the highest aperture value suppose f1.4 it allows more light into the camera and produce more brighter images and you will also get background bokeh effects but if you keep the least aperture value then it takes more darker images and least background bokeh effects and the last one is shutter speed if the subject is moving very fast then keep the shutter speed at the maximum if the subject is moving very slow then keep the shutter speed to the minimum value but one thing you should to remember if you are keeping the shutter speed at the minimum then your hand should be steady so keep the tripod so that you will get the better shots these are some of the images that you can observe at the 1 by 200 second you can observe the details in the photos at 1 by 50 you can observe more details in the photographs now the fourth one is using of polarizer as you can observe in the above figure there are two photos which are taken without polarizer and with polarizer by using the polarizer you will get the great dynamic range and better details but the photos without any polarizer you will get the least dynamic range and least details so i suggest you to use polarizer for the landscapes now the fifth one is create the sense of depth if you are going to take any photos in the landscape use the aperture value minimum by keeping the aperture value minimum then it gives the both foreground and background very sharp and i also suggest you to use tripod in order to avoid camera shakes for small values of aperture there we require more stability so avoid using bare hands and go for tripod in order to get better camera shots with great cluster clear images and the sixth one is using the simple background by keeping the background very simple you can get more subject details so avoid using more complex backgrounds as you can see in the above figure we are having the background very dull now the seventh one is avoid the flash in indoors during the day time there is no need of flash so by using the flash it will forms more artificial colors so try to avoid the flash during the day time now the eighth one is do with the passion photography is not a profession it's a passion so by doing the things with the passion it leads to give the greater results 
that's it friends if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching